Oh man, window is I a must. I don't even look out the window no more. Me neither. I don't look out the window, but I need that window. Actually, it kind of freaks me out every time we take off. That what we're doing. When I look outside, yeah, and you see how big that plane is, especially if it's a, the bigger the plane, the more mm-hmm. the thought is. You're just like when you walk down, you're like, man, this thing should not be able to. F-. I remember when I worked at Boeing. How are we doing this? We went to the the, the big factory in Ever where they work like the 777s and the 787s, the 747. Mm. Man, the engine is like three times you, mm. and it's just like how are we up here? In it's the sky? so heavy. This heavy. And stuff. I get it. Like I get it. Mm. Lift and velocity. Trust me, it's it's a flying cigar tube. It's crazy. And the things are thin. The, the, the alloy is thin. It's got to be light to fly. It's, light to, be like, light it's to fly. freaky, man. Every every flight that I'm on, when I look out that window and see us lift off, I just be like, man. I go away from it. At any moment. I go away from it. Because you're just like. Yeah, and the thing is, how quick the stuff gets small. Oh, my God. It's like when cities just look like square. Oh. Like, they're like you could see. Grids. Oh, we're I'm just looking like, at grids. I'm out. And in the car, it starts looking like you're playing The Sims. Oh, man. And then you just can't see anything. Yeah. Then you wake up and you're above the clouds. You're like, I'm just like, oh, my God. I think about it every flight. Every time. Every I, every flight. Every time I'll be like, we're going to die. We're going to die. We're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> it's never been a flight. Helicopter, I would buy it. It's small. It's got the one thing. It's light. I get it. And it's, it goes up straight. Like, you can see, oh, the wind's yeah. generating. It's pushing down. Right. Helicopter, when I flew in that, it doesn't bother me. Uh-huh. But plane. I actually hate the helicopter more. It feels like it's going to break. I've well, never been said, in one. You haven't? No, I've never been in a helicopter. Uh, you, we were in Hawaii. We did the Jurassic Park, uh, the flyover thing. Yeah. It's crazy. Is it scary? No. Okay. It's just like, man, this is beautiful. But Melissa said after Kobe, she's like, we're never doing it. Oh, Kobe. Yeah, yeah Dorf. You, oh, no. you did the one with no. That's you did the, the Vietnam, Vietnam joint? It's <laughs> the Good Morning Vietnam. Yo, were you, you crazy, wild. Cam? Was, was your arm hanging out? Were you strapped in? <laughs> what? Cam! Yo, you was in they Vietnam. They should have called the people. Wow. There's no reason you should be in a helicopter with no doors with nothing. You should be locked in to right. the harness. Seal me in. Nah, Cal. Uh, I can't be in there raw like that. Lord, that's yeah, terrible. That's the Vietnam extraction. <laughs> that's, that, that's that one song of Vietnam. Build <laughs> 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 My favorite part of movie. Oh, not a dude. Dude, that way. They always get to the landing always. zone. Always. All right, tuck in. Drop your gear here, man. This is Private Gutierrez, man. He's going to show you around. Grab some chow over there, man. We're going to head off. It's always, always. chaos on the landing always. when they get to the camp. Yeah, man, grab me some chill. Mate, that's Lieutenant Dan. Make sure to keep dry socks. Lieutenant Dan. I'll be like, man, y'all don't even have no warm up to the Vietnam. None of it. They <laughs> straight to the balls to the wall in, man. Drop your duffel bag. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Yeah. We out here in the thick of it, baby. We in the thick of it now, baby. Oh, my God. All yeah. right. Welcome to the Bob Brothers Podcast with Kev on stage and... Tony Baker. There we go. Yeah, I'm in there now. We're doing this podcast because we're friends and we wanted to do a podcast together. Yeah. And because you're at work, likely, <laughs> and you don't want to. All right? Turn that report in later. They ain't going to fire you. They quit your job. Quit your job. As long as you don't quit our Patreon. Kevin yeah. on stage Patreon. Tony has Patreon too. Get the money. Get the money how you get it. Baby. This podcast is just a reason for us to talk about movies. We disguise it with other topics. <laughs> <laughs> Today is no disguise. <laughs> Top 10 black comedies of all time. Woo. This is tough. Mm, mm, all right. Mm, we mm. got to narrow. And we might have to argue on this one, Tone. Okay. We might have to argue because yeah. we got to get the strongest list present to other cultures. Okay. So we're go not doing a personal. No, we go together. Okay. But we got to, if you feel like, Kev, this is weak, put this on. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Because we got to present okay. it to the other cultures. Oh, gotcha, okay. Go, go, the white people, we got, they're going to present their top ten. Yeah. We are the delegation for the blacks. For the blacks. Of the top ten comedies, we're stacking up against Latino comedies. Okay. Asian comedies. Sure, let's get it. All right. Uh, who went first last time? I did. So All you right, kick so it off. 
kick it off. Man. I'm going to go. I already know where you're going. You know with. what I'm going with. I'm it's, still going to say It's going to be one of two. Coming to America. I knew it. I knew. I knew. And you can know. I knew. It's okay to know. Yeah, yeah man. Seahawks should have known. This is it. Marshawn Lynch is going to run. The yeah. Patriots, who cares if you know? You still got to tackle them. You still got to do it. Run it four <laughs> times, man. <laughs> This is the quintessential. You know Michael Jordan's getting the shot. They yeah. still pass it to him. They still going to pass to him. Who cares? Coming yes. to America is that move. That movie, comedy-wise. It's perfect wise, comedy. The only problem I have with this movie, and it's not the comedy, the last 15 to 20. Mm-hmm. I, you fade out? By the, the last thing I remember laughing at and enjoying uh-huh. is the train. If you're really a prince, I'll marry you. Yeah. After that. <laughs> Started over. <laughs> I I have no, and a lot of comedies fail in the last. Most comedies phase the third out. Third act the end. resolution. Yeah, they they don't have it no more. Yeah, we up to the fun and games. Yeah. Act two, they're great. Right, the wrapping it up, they be like. It's hard, it's man. It's hard. It's hard rapping. Judd Apatow does a hard turn. He always yeah. goes for the heartstrings for like yeah. another forty five minutes, uh-huh. which works sometimes. Doesn't work. Mm-hmm. Um. Or what I think happens, there's just not enough time. Like people want to wrap it up quickly. Yeah. Or there wasn't enough story to hold to make a worthy wrap up. Okay. In the third act, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, but all that being said, I'm trying to think of what happens in the last 15 minutes. So that's when he's when uh, Amani is like he's basically chasing her. He's trying to get back with her. Okay. Because on, on the on the train ride, he's trying to get to her house, uh-huh. and she's like, "No, I don't want to. I don't want to be with you." It's like that. And then they get married, and they got the wedding scene. When did they have the issue at the McDowell house? Is that in the last fifteen minutes? That I believe is the, the, probably the last twenty five. I think oh, that's okay. before the. That's the blow up when she finds out who he really is. Oh, okay, yeah, right, because because his parents show up. Yeah, okay, but I'm trying to think so of after when the, that moment you feel oh, like it God. ran out of steam. I gotta look at I gotta look at coming to America. Well, the thing again. is, no joke. After that train scene, I I haven't watched the rest of the oh, movie wow. in a long you time. Really, I really turned about it this off because I just minutes. was after a couple of times. I was like, man, I don't really like nothing else mm. that happens, and I really like everything that happens up until that point. Of course. So, but anyway, but still, that, I'm not harping on coming to America. Yeah. I feel like it's a flawless addition to black mm-hmm. cinema. It's got a great um, story. For me, like simple story. It ain't the story really is simple. The characters are l- super likable. Yes. It's mad likable characters. They're, the quotables. The quotables are off the chain. Just it's just it's that's, perfect. That might be my like gun to my head. You have to quote the most of any movie in the world. Yeah. Probably like that. The barbershop sequences. Yeah, Randy Watson. Randy Watson. Every Man. time we bring up Randy Watson. Um. So funny. Man. The movie I'm picking is probably can go toe to toe on quotables. Really? Yeah. Really? My my first pick. Toe to toe. What is it? The, Friday. I damn near the whole Friday. movie is quotable. Friday, See, Friday has to be on this but list. But Friday nails the resolution. It does. The resolution is fire in Friday. Friday nails it because you know you got the money stuff. Yeah. But Craig and Debo mm-hmm. has been building. That's a great ending to it. I remember when I first saw Friday, I was at a movie theater in Amarillo, Texas. Mm-hmm. Because it wasn't playing in Clovis. I was in Clovis, New Mexico at the time. So we went to Amarillo. And when that scene came up, he pulled the gun. Yeah. And he shot it. Yeah. I was <laughs> like, oh, this movie just took a turn. <laughs> Dark turn. We just got hood real quick. And this is at the time when hood movies was thick. Oh, and yeah. so I was just like, oh, we we had to have this. Yeah. And yeah. I was just like, damn. <laughs> and then the switch of it was just him imagining that. Yeah. I was like, oh, my God. And then the fight was exciting. Oh, it was great. I was like, oh, they mixed and it the up. And pop, the pop's lesson. Yeah. You win some, you lose some. Yes. Here's the thing where I think coming to America where it be, I do agree on quotables. Yeah. But the set pieces in coming to America oh, man. was just like, man, the whole bar all the barbershop scenes, um, Eddie and Arsenio yeah. were and even Clyde, the other black dude, was just like he, he reminded me of the other dude in uh Harlem Nights who just shot the gun. The other barber oh, yeah, who yeah. wasn't Eddie or right. Arsenio. He was funny. He they was. Were, but Randy Watson, I remember being like, the first time I saw that, I was like, man, this is just, 
I was like, <laughs> play so beautiful, don't you agree? Like, I was just like, this is just, the dude it's put a, <laughs> give him a sense, a prop. <laughs> and I like, even when in that song, when they go to the, the other people, yeah. and Randy's quiet, uh, it's still funny. Yeah. <laughs> what he's saying on the low end, make him easier. The way he was doing it, the way he dropped the mic, it was like, <laughs> yeah. It was so, it, <laughs> it was, was so, so dramatic, random. And dog. there's so much happening in that scene. The dude put the chicken bone yeah, in the, he put the and chicken. I in this was, why would that be the trash? <laughs> I thought that was a trash. And 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 them playing multiple characters was so seamless. Oh my god, Arsenio and Eddie, it was so seamless. And I loved that at my that time in my life. It was Martin was doing all like for me. Mm-hmm. I didn't watch Coming to America when it first came out. Oh, okay. I watched it on the like later. So, wait, so, so hold on. When did you first see Coming to America? Funny thing about it, Tony, I don't remember not not seeing it. Okay. I just know it came out with 88 or something. 88. 88. I know we didn't go to the theaters and watch it. Okay. So we you saw it on watched, video. Definitely. So, I mean, at that time, that was going to theaters was not. Yeah. We didn't go all the time. Oh, that was secular. Yeah. Movie seats. For sure. We're not going to put our butts <laughs> in these dirty secular seats. We're going to just watch the exact movie. Jesus wouldn't be here. <laughs> We're not going to be there either. <laughs> watch the same movie at home though, and it's totally fine. Did I ever tell you what ended up happening? Why my family believed that? My pastor said it was a sin. Mm. Just my personal pastor. Yeah. So I thought it was a sin for all Christians. When I was older, I asked my grandma why. He was like, she was like, oh yeah, his son was having sex in movie theaters. <laughs> and I was like, so, so we all that became That's a all sin because we was on. I just want to watch the Lion King and yeah. stuff. Like I don't, I don't want to watch sex movies. Right. I was like, everything are movies inherently all bad. All of them. Yeah. People the, be having the sex and seats you sitting in like, watching your Lion King. And then I went and had sex in the movie theater in tenth grade. See, it all comes back for a circle. He was trying to stop that. <laughs> but no, I think um, uh, even when uh. <laughs> when Aki was talking about the football game, mm. they kicked an oblong ball through a giant H. It was most exhilarating. Like, <laughs> y'all. And Sam Jackson was in there already he old. He was. He was. He was already old. Man, no no nonsense. Bruh. Old. From, from jump. You diseased rhinoceros pizzle. <laughs> pizzle? I wanted to be the landlord so bad. That's oh, that's the character I want to play. Frankie Faison. Man, I wanted that role. Tom, you would have been perfect. Man, they don't pull stoop. that falling down the stairs crap on me. Your wrist do. Your you wrist do, mother. <laughs> I felt that in my soul because if you, if you owe me rent and I see you falling down the stairs, I'm not going to show no compassion. I'm like, your rent's due. Don't pull that falling down the stairs <laughs> shit on me. Him. He was like, Ugh. he farted. He's like, eh. like man. <laughs> and I love when they traded apartments with him. Oh man, he was like, this is really nice. <laughs> he was in there living it up, though. He was in the jacuzzi. He had his arms. Man, down. when he dropped him out, you boys from Africa are used to that. Like, <laughs> oh, <dumb. laughs> Super racist now. Super, super. So, I mean, it, hurt, it hurt us growing up in America with no concept of African Man. for real. The movie did not help. Oh, my God. When they but, had on all their wares outside in the community, <laughs> that was so funny to me. They were just out there. They had the fur coats on, the necklaces on. Like, the necklaces were big they were, boxes of gold. They were chilling out there. I was like, <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh, he had nothing but an ultra perm? What do you want to do with this? <laughs> Let's just, make it nice and neat. <laughs> That'd be $8. <laughs> oh. I mean, bruh. Yeah. Those it, two those two movies right there are goaded. They, no, other cultures are going to have a hard yeah. time. All right, number three. I'm going to jump out with life. I like life. I'm staying with Eddie Murphy. I like I'm life. I'm really proud of Martin, man. Mm-hmm. Martin was... The perfect. I'm sad they didn't do nothing else, like together. Together yeah. after Just that boomerang in life. But man, Martin was great. Eddie was in rare form. Yeah, in life. Life is a more tragic, like actual story. Yeah, the story they're telling. The story is, tragic. is super sad. But and man, they nailed the resolution in life too. They did. But, but the comedy in life. That's that's Eddie Murphy's. To me, that's my second favorite Eddie Murphy movie. Really? It's coming to America in life. Yes. Life I, is number two. Life has slowly climbed up me the too. chart. 
year after year. Me for me too. And it, every time I watch life, I'll be dying like I've never seen it. Dying like I never seen it. Holds up. Yeah. Just be, and partly because it's a period piece. The ending is strong. Great. Who said who when said they, they get died? old, it gets even funnier to me. Oh, they went to and that again, we said the third act is tough for comedy. Yeah. Martin Old with the toe in the Oh my God. Oh got a toe in the bottle, man. right? And, and I love the fact that Martin was the straight man, the cranky man, all the way up. But then when when they got old, Eddie's now cranky. Yep. And Martin was hilariously oh, loose. Oh my God. And I was just like, Martin this eating is that pie perfect. tone. Man. It was, the pot was too hot. Hot. <laughs> <high. laughs> That well, argument they have in the bedroom. Tony, man, I was just about to say that. That scene is perfect. Oh. I know it word for word, dog. <laughs> He's like, what you looking at, Ray? Just what the <laughs> fuck you looking at, Ray? I noticed you in uh <laughs> Please keep going, Tony. <laughs> You've been mighty, mighty friendly lately, man. What, what y'all want to be? A couple or something? What y'all got brewing? What I got brewing, Ray? <laughs> what I got brewing, Ray? You tell me. <laughs> I got an ass whooping for, <laughs> brewing for you, Ray. If you don't quit fucking with me, oh, 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 oh. he just an old man that like to talk. That's all that is. That's all that is. Oh, he an old man like to talk. Well, I'm an old man. I like to talk too. <laughs> what you want to talk about, Ray? What you want to talk about, Ray? I'm going to talk about the plan you've been working on. Ah, <laughs> uh, I know you, Nick. I know you got some. <laughs> you sleep. The way at his face. Oh was... my, he was looking at it like. <laughs> I know you, Nick. He was like, kiss my ass, Ray. Why don't you just go to sleep, man? I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs> and then he was like, I hope you piss the bed with that weak ass bladder. Yo, well, if I do, if I do, then I'm going to put the sheets on you. And you can see Martin crack. You can see him crack in that boat. He was like, I'm going to put the sheets on you. He was like, sleep tight, nigga. <laughs> Cut the light off. That scene is perfect, dog. Oh, my God. I love the scene. I want to actually recreate this with you. We talked about doing this for the ball, uh, brother. When they try to get the whites only pie, uh, and Eddie is Martin's not assessing the situation. No, I know. I watched it back again. I'm yeah. like, Martin never looks around. Mm. He's like, I want the pie. I want the pie. And Why Eddie's... I got to do all this for some damn pie, Big <laughs> Mitt, ma'am? We want some but get Billy. We want some pie. He said, How you know my name? <laughs> It says on your shirt. Oh, y'all boys can read so good. Did you see that sign? Over there. <laughs> Color. The <laughs> casting of that white woman was perfect. Y'all she, boys can read so racism. good. She was my uh, how tell them large you, Marge. How come you ain't read that sign over there? She's like, oh, oh, these whites only. Okay. What would it take to turn these whites only pies into <laughs> nigga pies? How about I turn y'all into nigga pie? So you say it's... <laughs> but Martin was still pissed. Bro, Eddie snuck in a little joke in that scene. <laughs> he was, it was about the recipe or something. He was like, he was why, like why, why, why would she know that? <laughs> you <ask him> quick. <laughs> he snuck it in on the cool. And Eddie was looking around. He's like, I don't, you yeah. know, I don't think we can... No, nah, man, I'm know. hungry, man. I didn't know y'all was that serious about your pies down <laughs> Oh, that my. movie is so good, dog. And it, then the, and we only talk about Eddie and Martin. Yeah. The, 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 oh, the ensemble, ensemble when they get to the jail. Oh my God, dog. They that, had every great black comedian mm -hmm. all, but they had uh, Joe Torre. Yep. Guy Torre. I'm sorry. I Guy always get Torrey. Them. Guy Torre. Anderson. Anthony and, Anderson. And and he baby Anthony. Mm -hmm, baby Anthony. They had Anderson. um Bernie Mac. Bernie Mac. They had Miguel Nunez Jr. Junior. Man, Bernie Mac as Jenga Leg. Oh, man. How many times? How long? Have we out of Pappy. <laughs> we <laughs> said happened. that for years. Out of Pappy. <laughs> and it was like, the scene, the scene that's perfection to me as far as a, a comedic ensemble, one scene is, is fire when, you know, Eddie Murphy is reading the letter to, to one of the inmates. And oh, yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. who else want to be reading? Nah, nah. But the scene that's perfection is when everybody's revealing what everybody did to get mm -hmm. put in jail. Yeah. And it's going back and forth. Yeah. It's just like, hey, you the one made a jacket out of him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm the one in that. Well, which one of you niggas killed Santa Claus? Well, it wasn't Santa Claus. It was, he was just wearing the suit and ringing the bell. It was just like, boom, 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 boom. Like Every, yeah, he was just ringing the bell. <laughs> 
<laughs> so it, it was just per- perfection oh, from a comedian. Timing wise. Man, dog. And that and one of my favorite just feel good scenes and Martin ruins it is the oh race boom God. boom room. When they think about that boom oh, boom room, they, they was like, in heaven. Tom. They was just like, tell me about that boom <laughs> boom room again. Oh man, man, you know what I'm saying? You gonna have gambling there? Oh, you know, just for you. I made that steak just for you, Cookie. And then Martin shows up <laughs> like, <laughs> hey boy, <laughs> go get us, go get us some more. <laughs> yard bird boy. Martin, like, man, shut up. Anybody <laughs> trying to hear all that? Man, you shut up, man. We talk about the boom boom room. Oh, man. Dog, it was so, so good. The story is good, but the just funny wise. I lo- I, this I say this all the time. When they was when can't get right, they mm-hmm. got him to play baseball. Yeah. And the white dude took the drink. He's like, he walked out smooth with my drink, didn't he? He did. <laughs> he walked out smooth. He noticed it. He was like, he walked out smooth with my drink, didn't he? Man. We was trying to all get out of jail. Like, we, I could only really get him. You know what I'm saying? Ah, <laughs> oh, dog. So good. All right. <clears throat> so you're up. Okay. Number uh, four. Number four. I'm putting in, uh, I'm putting House Party in there. Okay. I'm putting House Party On in comedy the alone. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. House Party. I watch that now, still laugh. You talking about the one with um, <clears throat> the original? Oh, play. not the one that just came out. Robin? Hell no! Oh, I didn't know. I just want to make sure. Hell, absolutely no. I could. Nineteen ninety. Kid and okay, Play. Okay, okay. Robin Harris. John Witherspoon. Man, Robin George Clinton. Full Force. Full You'll force kick your fucking ass. Thirty-five years old. <laughs> House party for show. Is Robin, there, Robin Harris, man. When he got to the party and started oh. roasting them up in that party, oh, I should have known you was here. I seen you dripping from the driveway. <laughs> hey, hey, well, I had no problem finding you. <laughs> Follow me. That was A.J. Johnson he was roasting. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, the curls. <laughs> that was A.J. Johnson. Oh. House I party. I love that movie, man. Perfect. All, that whole movie is he just wants to sneak out and go to a he party. He just wants to go to a party. He got in trouble for fighting at school. It wasn't his fault. The bullies was on him. The bullies are still on him yeah. all throughout. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> can't give you. I don't know why these old ass niggas is in high school, first of all. I don't know what they do. 35 in high years old playing football for the University of Miami. <laughs> and they're supposed to be 16, 17. Man. And they, we was just like, all right. Yeah, well. sure. But the only thing worse than that is the people in Greece. Oh, yeah. Greece, they were. <laughs> I said, this is, woman is 48 years old. Nobody's about, young, but Rizzo, I believe. Rizzo. Oh, my God. All up in the high She's school. She's a lunch lady. Like, what is happening here? You're dropping out, ma'am. <laughs> 48 years old. <laughs> Black don't crack. That white woman was, oh, you man, were 48. She, she, was, she was old. House party. House party. No, 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 nothing for me. I'm going to throw this in. I don't know how you feel. Okay. But for me, this was... My favorite movie for a long time. Mm-hmm. Little parody film called I'm Gonna Get You Sucker. Oh, yes. Welcome. I love. Welcome. I'm Gonna Get You Sucker. Yes. yes. That movie. Let's get it. The the the. Let's get it. There's so many funny things. Mm-hmm. Chris Chris Rock's uh, One Rib, One Order Ribs. Mm-hmm. That scene is so long yeah. and so short. Because he's like, how do you do? <laughs> what on the ribs? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the rib. way his face was. Man, you want one rib? <laughs> Show <Yeah>. him. <laughs> how much for a soda? <laughs> a dollar. You just pour, <laughs> pour a little in my hand. Pour it in my hand? <laughs> pour it in my hand for a dime. You don't get your ass in That man here. pulled out. Uh, when he pulled out the water. The water the money? Oh, God. I, I thought that was comedy personified. That was my intro to Chris Rock. Me too. You got changed for 100? Even though he was in uh, Beverly Hills Cop 2 as a valet, I didn't remember him from that. Mm-mm. But th- I remember him, and I'm going to get you something. Uh, he stole the show. Because the faces he was making and why he was uh, talking, man, it was so funny to me. One rib. Because Hammer and Slammer, they had no customers. No. Nah, so you know nobody. you're pissed off. Yeah. You want one slice of a rock. What's always funny about that scene, though, they give him a, a big ass bag or something. <laughs> they do, they do. He leaves there with a big ass bag of food. Like, what, what, what's, what did he put in that bag? For one he left rib. with a big ass bag. Dog, the scene where Kenan Ivory Wayne's is with the light skinned girl and nothing is real. Yeah. Like, my eyes aren't really green. Oh. 
And when like, she okay. took the butt off, she took her booty off, titties was off. Once she took that leg off, oh my god, and she had the, the leg pop pop loose though. Like, oh, and the sound effects they had it was like, <laughs> when the butt hit the ground, it was like ping. <laughs> Tony. Well, the way he kicked off the wig when she threw it on him. He, was like, ah! <laughs> he kicked the wig off like it was a creature. Like, ha! Ah! Ah! Ha! And she had that little piece oh, of hair with the, the little, barrette. The little curl. Dog. And she was hopping over to him. Tom. I used to watch that at my Aunt Sadie's house every <laughs> single day, man. When when Jim Brown's toe got big. Oh, it was pulsating. Ah. You been that stiff on my bunny. <laughs> The last shot of it looked like it was about to detonate. It was like, ah. I was dying. And Damon Wayans, him and Kadeem Harrison. Oh are, my God! Those as the little two. henchman when when uh the girl gets her period, which was the first time I ever heard of that. So it like scarred me a little. Crabs. <laughs> and he started screaming, high pitch. <laughs> I wasn't screaming. I was whistling. I was, I was whistling. <laughs> ah. Those two as the thugs was mad funny to me, dog. He was like, man, what you, what you doing? Like you always and then they, they get, take the stairs. That time when uh, Bernie oh, Casey was coming God. down the, uh, the rope with the dynamite and it blew yeah. up before he got to his death, that was a plot twist I did not see coming. He was rappelling <laughs> down there, the music going, and then bam! <laughs> <laughs> you just don't expect that to happen. Yo, he blew up. Oh, my God, man. I'm going to get you sucker as fire. I love that movie. The The underrated scene is the black dude, the super black dude with the white girlfriend. Oh, my God. And the kid is a poor white twash. <laughs> Let's do it. They had bean soda. He's like, uh, but, sir, I just... <laughs> I can't do it right there. You like, yes, yes, well, <laughs> it was like... <laughs> We, we went in there with guns, came out with jobs. Oh, Clarence my Williams God. the third, dog. Oh, yes. Yes, <laughs> well, <laughs> you see. <laughs> I, I wanted to make parody movies forever because I just thought I'm going to get you sucked. And I never, the funny thing about that movie is, I didn't grow up watching black exploitation films, mm, okay. so I didn't even know they were parroting a right. genre. Shaft and all that. Never, never saw them because it's funny on its own steam. It's I found that out as later. Yeah, in a documentary because I was born in '83. Them movies were like '70s right. Dolomite. That was a you know very important part of our right. culture, but I didn't watch any of those. Right. I just thought that was I didn't know none of the tropes. I was yeah. just like, man. <laughs> This Everybody is. gotta have their own theme music. <laughs> it was just, it was perfect, dog. That Man. movie made me laugh so hard when I first saw dog, it. Dog, I love it. I want the Wayans to get. I, they deserve a documentary for sure for their contributions to hundred percent black com comedy period, but especially black. It comedy. would be a fire documentary like, because what? they're so deep in the comedy streets from from working with Eddie Murphy and yes. Raw and all this other stuff, and then coming through. With, I'm gonna get you sucker to the living color to the post that is man. It's, it's so thick. Just I we I want to make it so thick. I don't know how to make documentaries though. Yeah, and I feel like all the comics would no one would turn you down. Yeah, if you got an email like, hey, we're doing a documentary on the Wayans. Family, you should make this. Wow, I don't know how to make documentaries. We can, we can find out. There's a certain like, it's a it's a skill. We know enough people to where we can get this documentary made. We probably do, and I want to do it while they're alive. Yeah, we gotta do it now. Cause Kenan's like sixty seven. He's in the sixties for sure. He looks yeah. great though. He looks fantastic. I feel like he's gonna be here for a long time. Yeah, but, me too. But they, their family was living long, but yeah. Damon, mm. Marlon, like I was watching. I'm gonna uh, not, uh Mo Money. Yeah, I was watching that early. Mm -hmm. I don't remember not knowing them. Ninety two. That was ninety two. Yeah, Money. it was nine. Man, I was all in on the wins from jump. I, mean, oh, I couldn't get enough. I thought it was so funny when Marlon put his leg up and he had a watch on his mm -hmm. leg. I said, it's man, like, how, how does he get his leg up like who that? Are they? He was like nineteen. <laughs> yeah, he was young. He was a baby when he, he was, was fresh in the game. All right, you're up. In Number that, in, six. In that same vein, we still in the Keenan Ivory. Because he, he he helped write this as well. Hollywood Shuffle. I love it. I feel like this movie doesn't get talked about it enough. It doesn't. Hollywood Shuffle is pound for pound one of the funniest movies breathing. Mm -hmm. And it is so relevant even, even to this day. Even to this day. 
um when you when you're in the in the Hollywood shuffle, you like, yo, this is this is dead on. And so and so now, you know, back then it was like pimps and drug dealers. Yeah. Now now it'd be like wearing a dress. So yeah, that for would be sure. the So but Hollywood Shuffle makes so many points. But it's so funny, though. So funny, man. From top to bottom, the slavery sketches and the man. sneaking in the movies and all that and the and the cookie head Jenkins, the murder <laughs> mystery. So funny, top to bottom, with a great message, a great story, independent filmmaking at its finest. Hollywood Shuffle is one of the funniest Man, movies I've ever seen. Why we don't? You got John Witherspoon oh, in there. You got Keenan Ivory Wayans in there. You got Robert Townsend doing his thing. Damon Wayans is in there. Yeah. So you just see all of this just this... building and bubbling. And he was saying that that it was like born out of his experience. Yeah. At the moment. Right. He was like. I'm auditioning. I'm, aud- I'm mm-hmm. keep getting this stuff, either not getting the roles or getting them, and they're like right. this. And he was like, "Man, I'm gonna make this movie. I'm gonna make this movie." And the fact that it could play updated right now, you could play, you could make that movie. Absolutely. All right, now, okay. Now here's where it's gonna get tough. Mm-hmm. It's hard coming up. It's something. I think. Oh it's snap! It's been playing the whole yeah, time. Yeah, the whole time. I'm trying to. So let me ask: Does Major Pain count as a black comedy? I don't think so. Why? I don't consider it a black movie. Why though? What makes a black movie a black movie? The cast is predominantly black. Which major pain is? Which major pain is? The only it's the main white dude and like two, maybe three cadets are not black. Because there was a main the the older one. I can't think of his character name. He was the main one. There was another one. I think there was only two white kids in there. Bam Bam Bigelow's in there, but he's a cameo. I mean, if you say it's a black movie, I I won't be disgruntled, but it it doesn't feel like a black movie. Because it just just happens. It it doesn't. And it just happens to have a black lead. I don't know this one. I don't know either. There's way more white people than I thought. There's all kind of white kids in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like five of them. Okay. So we can't have it? I don't consider it a black film. All right. But I could be mistaken. You know, I could I be mistaken. I don't know how we... Because I, 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 I asked my viewers about uh, Major Pain before, and they said they didn't really consider that a black movie. It does fit the type of movie that was coming out during that time. For sure. You know 100%. what I'm saying? Like Little Giants. It was that like was 95. in that. that they was made a lot of movies. But also, I don't, they just stopped making that, those movies. They did. I think it's, I blame Toy Story. This is my. Oh, because Toy Story came out. And after like, Toy Story. Make the cartoons like They this just was of. like, and I don't know why, because animated is way more fun. But we had, from the Goonies to Little Giants yeah. and all those kind of kids' movies, they just were like, all right, we yeah. don't do that We're anymore. We're done with the kids and the adults unless the kids going to be cussing fire. Exactly. Uh, okay, let me think. Because that was going to be one of mine. I'm going to put it off to the side for my personal list. I really enjoy Don't Be a Menace. Oh, okay. I'm I with this. I love I'm with Don't it. Be a Menace. I'm with it. I did grow up watching those movies. Yeah. So I had seen Boys in the Hood, um, uh, the one with Kane, New Jack City. No, mm-hmm. no, New, well, I the seen New Jack Menace City, Society. Menace to Society, yeah. New Jack. I saw all those. So you you knew what they were. So spooking. now I'm like, okay, you are getting every joke now. Oh my god! Yeah. And Marlon Wayans, Marlon and Sean just yeah. they made a lot of funny movies to me, which mm-hmm. makes me wonder: Is White Chicks a black movie? No, but Don't Be a Menace is. Mm-hmm. What's the difference? It's the same people. Because the Don't Be a Menace is specifically targeting black movies. Okay. And it is a black movie targeting black movies, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. ultra black. Okay. Okay. Well, Don't Be a Menace, I thought, had... <clears throat> it, it was just... I, I, I can't There's even... There's so many laughs in this movie. It's just... Martin's face, his hair, Loke Dog, yeah. his hair, when he had the missile, do mm. we have a problem? Hmm? Hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, <laughs> and the ensemble is great, man. Uh, Daryl Heath as Ice Pick, yeah, or Toothpick. 
Chris Spencer as the oh, super look, woke dude that likes white my women. My milk, excuse me, can you tell my milk back? Can you tap that white girl right there? I love the way his son's called on the crack of a man. Like, bro. Oh, man. Y'all ain't never looked at nobody in the shop. <laughs> Just me. He's in Black Dynamite. Daryl Heath, yes. Is he the militant? Yes. The militant's walk in yeah, The militant's walk in startled. That's him. <laughs> That's him. Daryl Heath. He was on Def Jam. Hilarious. Dang. Um, and I, Bernie Mac, another scene yeah. steal for him. Is that the racist cop? He's it's great. I hate Whoopi Goldberg's <laughs> lips. I hate the black of, the back of Forrest Whitaker's neck. No, why he do the extra? No, <laughs> it's so funny, <laughs> dog. When they oh, go to the man. hospital and they're gonna be waiting long, <laughs> so the dude was on fire standing in line. Just these little messages within message message. Keenan Ivory does. He says that. Yep. All right. That's a good pick. Don't be minutes. Okay, you got number eight. I'm going to go with Harlem Knights. Got to put it in there. You know how I feel about that. Yeah, you saw it late in life. You just saw it like last year. It was two not years last ago. year. It was two like years 2015. Ago. No, it was not. It. I lived in my Reseda house back then. It wasn't 2015. Okay, maybe like 17. It was probably maybe 19. Maybe even 18. Probably 19, 20. It wasn't 20. You just saw it was Harlem 19. Knights fairly recently. It was probably 19. Yeah. And but I gotta put that in there. You have to. It's ultra black. Eddie Murphy directed it. Did he? Yeah, he directed all of them. I didn't know that. Mm. Most black comedians of our class, and they've been saying this my whole comedy career. We got to get our own Harlem Nights going. Yeah, but I don't know that. Like, I don't know that you could get the Richard Pryor and the Eddie Murphy, like those people. That's mm -hmm. actually one of the things we have, and the Red Fox. Like they had everybody. Yeah, the the legends of the day and mm -hmm. the people who was like rising. But that movie is... We could do that today. You think so? Yeah. You think Kevin, they'll come together? So who we... We got the biggest people. We got Kevin Hart. We got Dave Chappelle. We got... Uh, <sighs> but Cab, we, but they, but they kind of beefing. That's what I'm saying. Hold on. I think we have that as a topic. We got it on the next episode. Oh, well, never mind. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll talk we'll about it We'll get back. Yeah. We'll get it. But Harlem Nights, as, as, a, as a black film... Um, when, you you when, got the legendary comedians in there. Absolutely. Della Reese. Della Reese. Della Reese fighting stealing, Eddie Murphy. Stealing scenes like a mug. Even this, the orange juice. Yeah. The, just she, swallowing this. Oh, my God. Pissed off. But the scene where Eddie Murphy, I'm sorry, where Arsenio Hall and the dude are shooting at Eddie Murphy. Yeah. And Arsenio Hall is crying. Mm -hmm. Tone. Uh, uh, him, Miguel New Year's Jr., once Miguel again. Jr. And, and the that's dude with the pistol. Tone. Who they say is A.J. Johnson's brother, I heard. Really? That's what I heard. I don't know how true it is. The way Arsenio was like, quit! Yeah. <laughs> 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 he was so dramatic. He was mad. Dramatic. <laughs> the crying <Stop>. man. <laughs> don't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> you stop shooting that little ass shit. Oh, quick. Me and Melissa rewound that so many times. Quick, I'm going to kill you. And then that nigga, Eddie Murphy, shoot. Bow, 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 bow. 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 <laughs> and they all gone. I'm going to kill you, quick. All gone. You shot my brother. I ain't nobody shot your brother. Yeah, you did, quick. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> They shot the dry, They shot the passenger in the head on accident in the car before they even mad. got to the. It got they, oh, sorry, Junior. I'm oh, sorry, <laughs> Junior. They shot Junior in the head on the way. <laughs> Junior was chilling. Oh. Junior was chilling. Imagine you in the front seat. Yeah, we go get this cat. Pat. That was your last thought. You're like, yeah, man, we're going to get quick. <laughs> it just goes dark. He <laughs> just goes dark. You wake up in hell like, you what? You were ready. You was down. You Who were like, me? ooh, we going to get quick. <laughs> That's your last thought. Pow. <laughs> you don't even hear them say, I'm sorry, he Junior. He was still in the car when they were still <laughs> shooting it quick. He was... <laughs> <laughs> Julia was in the car dead. Oh my God. Uh, All right. Okay, number nine. I'm probably stealing this from you. Uh huh. Black Dynamite. Yes, put it in there. Because I was going to put it in there. Tone. If you didn't. This is another movie I saw late. I don't know. <laughs> this came out, what, was 06, you said? 08, 09. Okay. So I don't think Black Dynamite came out in Tacoma. 
I don't think it was a nationwide release. Yeah. And movies are nationwide releases. They they don't go out. They didn't come out in Tacoma. It was limited. It was limited. Yeah. Release. So LA is always gonna get it. Yeah. If it's sure. limited release, it's always gonna come out in LA. Mm -hmm. So I remember Tony yeah. into here was always quoting. Yes. Specifically, but the Black Dynamite. I sell drugs, I sell in, the drugs in the community. Tone. <laughs> me and my and I didn't realize how hard R it was. Mm -hmm. So me and Melissa watched it with the boys. Two thousand nine. Tone, we had a blast that <laughs> night. They're so when they was fighting and he smacked that oh dude, he said, "Hey, <laughs> hey, man, <laughs> hard cut to a different actor." Because he was like, "Who? who? <laughs> hey, man, <laughs> cut." Because <laughs> we didn't realize what, it, what kind of movie it was. Yeah. So we was like, hold on, hold on. That was the moment we we're like, oh, this is this is a different movie, dog. Yeah, man. So Tommy Davidson when they ordered oh, the food, cream corn. <laughs> Bitch, do you see us? <laughs> I want, I want long sausage, slit in half, smush fry, and one waffle. <laughs> you know what else? I hate trying to get some service around this motherfucker. <laughs> Bitch, do you see us? <laughs> do you see us? That whole conversation so, when they was trying to piece together the whole thing and the old lady was chiming in with the answer, they was like, all right, man, watch out. Man, I was crazy. Now, I who realized... is the god of war? <laughs> Aries. All right. All right. All right. That's the scene, the euphoria scene. Oh, <laughs> man. Because he was like, I'm going to shake the tree from the roots and rake up the fruits. I'm going to think it's black dynamite. going to make it all right. Euphoria, I already know that's you. I ain't even got the look. Should have left you with coat hanger beat. Oh, my God. Man, shut the hell up, Euphoria. <laughs> Tall. She faded back into the... <laughs> because she came back and black dynamite. going to make it all right. <laughs> Michael Jai White was so oh, mad. He was pissed. Man, I already knew it. <laughs> I ain't even got the look. <laughs> That time he rolled up on the militants and they, oh. they were just like, the militants walk in stuck. He like, yeah, because y'all survival skills ain't worth a damn. <laughs> that movie is so funny, oh, dog. Oh, man. When he kicked that dude through the wall and the dude was in there with his TV dinner just sitting there eating. <laughs> like, come on. I also love it because my kids thought it was funny, too. Oh, man. So dog. I was like, you know, the boys are tougher. They're a tough, they're a tough crowd right yeah. now. Yeah. But Black Dynamite, man, we was the, Melissa was mad at me because there was some titties in there. There was some titties in there. Big was, ones too. I was like, she was Big like, fast forward it. And I was like, it was too late. <laughs> you couldn't find the button. <laughs> no, I seen it. I just was like <laughs> I feel like it'll be over soon. <laughs> it was quick. The remote was right there. Yeah. There's nothing to be titties forever. Yeah, I was just man. like, <laughs> Nah, it's already there. That's when you up. check the back of the remote for no reason. You open it up. Let me make sure the batteries are in here first. Oh, yeah, they in here. They in here. Let me just take them out real quick. Because sometimes you got to pop them you back pop in. Them back they in. in. Sometimes you got to reverse it, and then you put the prong on the on the negative and the negative on the positive, and then you shake that up, and then, then you uh, make sure that back is in place. And then, and then that's when you turn the channel. Oh, yeah, Black Dynamite is... Oh, my God, 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. All right, you're up, Tone. This Damn is the last one. The final pick. The final countdown. Oh. So we got Coming to America. We oh, got yeah. Life. We got Hollywood Shuffle. We got Don't Be a Menace. We got I'm Go Get You, Sucker. House Party. House Party. Harlem Nights and Black Dynamite. And you said Major Pain's out. Yeah. Even if it was a black movie, I don't know if that would be yeah, I just really top ten. Man. man, this is tough. This is tough. You got Boomerang. You got Nutty Professor. Y'all listen more. Nutty Professor, the first one, is really great. Baby's Kids. Uptown, I love Baby's Saturday Kids. Saturday Night. Uptown Saturday Night. I love Uptown Saturday Night. Uh, Last Dragon is a comedy? Straight up? I wouldn't consider it tripping. Okay, we tripping. Y'all just name it, okay. stuff, man. <laughs> Undercover brother. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Woo. Y'all just name it. Rush Hour. I don't consider Rush a black movie. Nah, that's definitely a crossover. Soul Man was very funny though. Norman. You know what? I hate. I hate to just. It's a lot of Eddie Murphy in here, but he is who he man, is. He is who he I is. I got to put Boomerang in there. I will say I'm okay with Boomerang. Boomerang is is is. 
one of the ultimate romantic comedies of all Absolutely. time. Absolutely. I got to put Boomerang Marcus. in there. Yeah. It's just so, so good. good, so well cast, um, so many dope characters throughout it. Yeah. It's just it's just a good ass well done movie. 1000%. No argument. And everybody yeah. was beautiful. Everybody was like, fantastic. They represented black people yeah. great. Funny. They're all great. Martin Martin. Martin was killing in that, though. Martin, man. He was killing in that joint. Martin. Him, him and David Allen Greer were a great contrast. Yes. The women were fire. It was just Grace Sister Jones. Action? Grace Jones and Eartha Kitt stealing scenes. Oh, my God. Eartha Kitt, was, Eartha Kitt is great. It, it was just. Honorable mention, Low Down Dirty Shame. Go down Dirty Shame is great. Yeah, it's good. But I couldn't I couldn't put it above Boomerang or yeah, anything yeah, yeah. else on that list, but Low Down Dirty Shame is fire. I love the first Nutty Professor, honorable mention. First Nutty Professor is great. Eddie Murphy Eddie Murphy playing multiple characters yeah. at once. That dinner scene oh my with God. the farting and the Come on, man. Just this whole list damn sure could have been Eddie Murphy. Yeah, absolutely. That's what he did. Uh, what was what was Jamie Foxx and Tommy Davidson? Booty call. Booty call. Booty call is funny. It's a personal I just re- favorite. I recently rewatched that, and it's still funny. You know, if you're getting steak and lobster, I'm going deep sea dive. <laughs> I didn't know what that meant at the time, yeah. but I found out. Uh, yeah, that movie's funny. Yeah, that's good. All right, I feel strongly about that. I'm not mad at this list. I'm good with this list. I and, feel like that can stand the test of time. For sure, and it crosses over. Other Anybody, people, oh yeah. other people that I talk to that aren't black, they love Black Dynamite as well. Oh yeah, black. When we went to see Outlaw Johnny Black, uh-huh. the theater was all kind of people. Yeah, and a good amount of the questions was about Black Dynamite. Yeah, They're like this is cool, Outlaw Johnny Black. <laughs> Listen, when you did Black Dynamite, right? What you was thinking when you did this? <laughs> he was just kind of like, well, you yeah. know, what I'm saying we kind of talk about the Outlaw. Like, I understand that. Yeah, I understand, understand that. Right. But what about Black Dynamite? Black help you Dynamite. With this? All right, before we go, Mount Rushmore. Of desserts. Oh. And this is your personal Mount Rushmore. Personal, okay. Because I don't All I right. don't want to hear it from okay. me. <laughs> I don't care what y'all say. <laughs> okay. You only get Pumpkin the four pie desserts. Gonna be Pumpkin yours, pie huh? gonna be on there. Your blacks, <laughs> it's gonna be on there because I like it. If you only got to eat four desserts for the rest of your life, what do you choose? I don't want Tony over here on mine. All right, we're gonna go one by one. <laughs> one by one, okay. And pumpkin pie is not my first one. But it's, it's going to be, be on, on there. there. It's going to be on there. All right. My first one <laughs> is pound cake. Okay. And you can choose the same. Yeah. It's not like if I take it, you ain't. Oh, you gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. I love pound cake. I love with the icing. Melissa makes a drunken strawberry pound cake with strawberries soaked in Moscato overnight. Oh, damn. I said, listen, you preparing for the next day. I said, we, this, this is, she started making during the pan, in the pandemic. Uh-huh. She going crazy. She was baking like all type of stuff. Yeah. But the drunken strawberry Moscato with the Damn. top. And I love the crispy edges on the, the ah. part of the pound cake that yeah. stick to the plate. Yeah. You just be like, scrunch, scrunch. Mm-hmm. Ah. Lemon pound cake, pound seven cake up cake. Time. My grandma makes a good cake, pound cake. Melissa makes a great pound cake. Shout out mm-hmm. to my grandma. I didn't know if Melissa would ever be able to beat her in some stuff. Yeah. Her pound cake better than Ruthie's. Respect you, Ruthie. Oh, Love snap. She's watching this. Yeah, Ruthie, you know. Yeah. You had both. Pound cake is number one. Pound cake is a good time. It's a great time. Pound cake is a good time. Hardly anybody don't like pound cake. Yeah. It's like when Eddie Murphy said, who, who don't like parfait, Cause man? Because the name, the name is so nondescript. It just sounds like blue yes. collar. Just, I just work eight hours a day. I go home. I shut my mouth. I don't go out. That's pound cake. You know, pound cake is just pound like cake hey, work man, at the I mill. Just, I work at the mill. You know, pound cake was on the line yeah. when General Motors went down. He was on the strike. He, I was he struck. My daddy worked down at that mill, so I just did the same. This is what we did as men. That's pound what we cake. Did. We was a heart. Pound of cake America. got on construction boots, not even Timberlands. They just That's construction. That's the hard lunch. Yes. Pound cake built the skyscrapers with no <laughs> stuff. They were sitting on the beam. Absolutely. Like, pound cake, what you doing up here? That this picture time? My family. and them men on this beam in black and white. They had pound cake in the lunch <laughs> pails. Sure. Hundred. It's beautiful. They for sure Absolutely. risking their life to build the Empire State Building. Absolutely. Pound cake on my break. <laughs> <laughs> Pound cake. Okay. All right. For me, in my Mount Rushmore, Your banana mouth. pudding. Banana pudding is in there. That's why I'm glad we don't have to choose the same. Here's where I get controversial, though. You don't want no bananas in there. I don't need the vanilla wafers in there. Oh! I don't need the vanilla oh! wafers in there. Oh, I would, I would, I like it as a crumb topping, but a whole wafer is too much. Whole wafers is, are too much. This is a lot for me. Yeah, because I already 
We already got pudding. We already got bananas. We already got cream. Now we need whole wafers as How well. How you going to decorate the house? You need some structure. Crumbs. You can so crumb you okay up with the wafers. I'm fine with the crumb wafers. Just the whole wafer? What else is vanilla wafers going to be if they not for banana pudding? People don't really just That's be like. That's none of my business. That's what they know what it is. They in the game to be in, in banana pudding. That's none of my That's business. That's crazy. I've heard no. I I've heard no bananas. How you gonna have no bananas in the banana pudding? I don't like bananas. The I, banana, banana is literally in the title. I don't care. My my my, my sister in law Tammy. She makes a banana pudding. No bananas with chessmen instead of vanilla wafers. Very light on the pudding. I can eat it. The, that the traditional black banana, banana pudding, pudding with, with no but That's like getting the Usher album and he ain't on it. <laughs> Let me get the Usher album with no Usher. So you just want instrument? You just want instruments Featuring, and features. Featuring Justin Bieber on one. It's literally wow. in the title. I, like, Let I me get bananas. the banana pudding with no bananas. Hate them. Vanilla wafers. Let me get macaroni and cheese with no macaroni and no cheese. What, well, what we doing? What we doing here? It's I, banana pudding. I don't like it. Wafers ain't in the title. But wafers is key. Look, wafers mooched off of banana pudding. Absolutely. Like, Yo, this is what we could do for ourselves. <laughs> that, for sure. This, this will make us more popular. The marketing team at Vanilla the Wafers. The wafers need like, the banana pudding. The banana pudding does not need the wafers. I disagree. And I don't even like bananas. I don't like banana pudding. The banana be turning brown. Well, you got to get in there and get oh, out, man. God. I like brown bananas. Though. Oh, that's man. When, that's when you get to the nitty gritty. Nah, they're all good. I get what you're saying. Once you see a dark banana, that's when you, you just be I'm like, oh, out. man. It's like an out. avocado. It's been left out. Yeah, avocado. Even if the taste man. doesn't change mentally, it is diseased now. Man, watch out, man. Bananas actually do taste. The soft ones, the, the mushy mushy, yeah. it's just a dis- That's why I don't like them. Yeah. I don't know if y'all know this story. Went to Las Vegas for the first time. I was hungry. My grandma didn't want to go eat downstairs. Mm. I was like, "Can I have something to eat?" She was like, "Here's a banana." And it was the banana was like, mm. <laughs> it was bro the biggest soft spot. And she opened it, and it had like a deep gushy part. She was like, "And eat the whole thing." I was like, Ooh. "I'm not hungry anymore." Uh, yeah, you was hungry now. Eat it. Eat she it. made me eat that whole banana, and that was the last. And you time. gonna hush? And I was just like, I don't want to. Even, why are you punishing me for being hungry? So We've been in the car it. for seven hours. So you got the vendetta it, just because of this one moment? No, no, because that's gross. That taste is gross, and no. it goes in my mind. Was it how brown was the banana? Tone, it was like, come on, you proving a point, grandma. It was the color of your shirt. It was my shirt. Oh yeah, that, that's. Ridiculous. I feel like it was just at the hotel on the back of a TV yeah, hot, that's like yeah, eat this. That's been at Circus Circus for a month. Damn. I like my bananas with freckles on them, but that that's just that was like, come on, that's man. That's a straight black fruit person. flies. Was like, man, I was, I, I was plotting on that. <laughs> All right, second for me, y'all are disgusting. By the way, talking about bananas are disgusting. <laughs> y'all are disgusting. <laughs> oh yeah. My second is peach cobbler. Okay. My, my grandma man. makes a great peach cobbler. A lot of black women do. Best part is the corner. Mm. The, there's yeah, no health amazing. benefits of peach cobbler. Absolutely not. It's funny because Melissa does not like peach cobbler. Melissa has anti-hot fruit. But she don't eat food. So she it, eats it food, really means nothing. She'd be so mad at me when I agree with you for that. She don't be eating. She said, you've never said that before, Tony Baker. I said, I said that all the time. <laughs> Nobody else was with me. If you didn't go on that tour, Tony, you were the only one that called her out. Yeah. She never ate her food. See? But I was, food well, you agree with him. Like, you see the play. I've seen her personally waste <laughs> So much food, <laughs> personally. I, I know the truth. She says she get tired of chewing. She's like, I just see. I we wish, I wish I would get tired of chewing. <laughs> I get tired of chewing gum. That's it. <laughs> food, <laughs> never that. But pe- pe- peach cobbler is great. I love the corner, crispy edges. Yes. On the on the thing, mm. but the the one thing peach cobbler, if it's not done right, a doughy crust, oh, I'd yeah. be like, it I'm takes out. you out of it. It, I'm out. If mm. I get a big glob. Yeah. I'd be like, all like right. Like you had a spoonful of raw Duncan Hines. Mix. Yes. Yeah. Play-Doh. Mm-hmm. I'd be out. All right, you're up. Number two. I'm going to go with um, cheesecake. Oh, man, Tony. Cheesecake is fire, dog. Oh. Cheesecake and whatever was in every texture you wanted to be, cheesecake is <laughs> Fire, I could never if eat you want to do the thick or the or the creamy, whatever, whenever, however, turn Maxwell on Siri. Play Maxwell, <laughs> whenever, whatever, whatever. 
man, cheesecake is phenomenal. And all of its splendor. I do prefer the juniors type of like the thick. light. No, no, like the light. Oh, the light, okay. They had like a light mm. version. The New York thick. Yeah. I want all of it. Granually thick. cheesecake. I'll take my cheesecake with a thick ass booty, <laughs> or it could be flat, creamy cheeks. Whatever whatever you want. Whatever it is. Thick booty cheesecake. <laughs> cheesecake is phenomenal, oh! though. The fact that I don't be eating cheesecake on the regular is phenomenal. <laughs> You can have it. Yes. All right. My next one is pineapple upside down cake. I don't oh. want to talk about to here. Let's just leave it alone. <laughs> that story should tell you everything you need to know about me and pineapple <laughs> upside down cake. I love it. I love the pineapple mm. with the little maraschino cherry, the crumbly top. Yeah. It's great. Mm. Yes, I ate the top of Tahir's cake. It was not that big. <laughs> it was like a saucer, man. Tahir is just be exaggerating on the bigness of the right. cake. It's Tahir a great be lying. story to tell. He be lying. Yeah, Tahir be lying. And he be over exaggerating. Yeah. But Quinn, uh, Quinn made one one time. Mm. I don't even remember why. I think she made it to give it to Tahir. But it was great. Yeah. I ate that too. Pineapple upside Pineapple down. Pineapple upside there. down, undefeated. Hmm. Now, are cookies allowed in this? Absolutely. Or cookies it's are for sure separate. a dessert. So cookies, cookies is in is, this. You can. Chocolate chip, chocolate chip cookies. You say what? Chip cookies that I, have. That's I a like, I like boneless. We was arguing about that. People, whoever we was with could not understand what you were saying. Yeah. It was like, that's not a chocolate chip cookie. Chocolate that's not, chip you can't cookie. have it. They're like, you can. Yes, you can. But you got to add that to it. Because a lot of people immediately think, oh, well, if there's no chips, it's a sugar cookie. No, that's no. not what I want. No. Sugar cookies are light in color. No, I want the dark <laughs> chocolate chip cookie cookie with no chips. What's the What What, what happened there? It's just, Sometimes the chocolate is just too much. Rich-wise or too too much chocolate? Uh, rich and some people just overdo it with the chips. So it's just like, man, it's too many chips. <laughs> so could chips you go light like chips or you rather no chips? I, I, just just a hint of the of the, the chips. People love the gooey pull apart. Yeah, I, I don't need, you overdoing it with the chips. You know how the chips are hard would make the extra chips. I'm like, yeah. man, look out. It's too much. It's too much chips. I get, I'll get you. I don't want no, I don't want no solo chip album. I want chocolate, <laughs> chocolate chip, the chips are the feature. The cookie itself is the main. It's not chips, main... chocolate cookie. Right. It's you a know chocolate what I'm chip cookie. It's chocolate chip cookie. Man, you man, supposed chill. to be spliff. Chill. The Buster Rhymes is the cookie. We don't want no spliff solo. I don't joint. want spliff as a whole album. He's great where he's he great is. Great where he's at. He picking. He's picking his spot. I don't want no flavor flav solo. Nah, man. Put him within the Public Enemy cookie, and then we in on this. There you go. So I'm gonna put cookies on my Mount Rushmore. You can have cookies. This cookies, that's that's an assortment. That's for sure, a dessert. This is assortment. The lemon, the lemon cookies, the peanut butter cookies, the chocolate Oatmeal chip, raisin? oatmeal raisin, a hundred percent. There we go, man. Soft oatmeal raisin. The soft gets... cookies is what's my. That's my list. Yes. Soft don't come cookies? in here with the hard cookies now. I'm taking them off the mountain. You don't want fam famous Amos? I don't want my cookies the same texture as the real Mount Rushmore. <laughs> I need soft. <laughs> Cookies got to be soft and warm. There's no better smell than a fresh baked oh, chocolate my chip cookie. God, dog. that is bacon, coffee, mm -hmm. coochie, and <laughs> coochie. Coochie got a great smell. It's not fresh. Than I don't good, think. However, it come. Natural I don't think must. Kev has experienced enough of an assortment. Well, maybe of coochies. I just have one great coochie. Smell. That's, maybe, that's maybe, something. Yeah. Maybe I have one great coochie. Good smell. I can't give Coochie having a good smell just across the board. Because I've encountered Fair. some. <laughs> some Sour Patch Kids? Yes. I've encountered <laughs> some Coochies that were just not hidden. I haven't. Yeah, so by the grace of God, that's the that's I picked me a great yes, coochie. That coochie yeah, is like I'm gonna show, my coochie give a triple double every stay time. Stay with this coochie. Give get 15 rebounds. Outlet pass. Yeah, makes the right play. Yeah, my coochie hits the free throw. Yes, great locker room. That's ideal. Good in the media. Yes, goes to the children's hospital. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Franchise coochie. Yeah, this coochie's like kissing babies. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Got a great rep. So I think it's it's, it's fantastic. Mm. But chocolate chip cookies in my high school at Lakes. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, I didn't have that much money at the time, but they used to sell three cookies for a dollar, mm -hmm. and they never baked the chocolate chip cookies all the way. Mm -hmm. They would like pull them out and then let them like finish on the tray. 
tone. Man, dog. It's just <laughs> one dollar gave you three cookies. It's oh. the best smell. Chocolate chip cookies are Ooh. you be like, you know, this like popcorn and chocolate chip cookies are two things you don't have to be in the mood for. But yeah. if you smell them freshly oh done, you're like, you know what? I, can't, I could I can't go for this. Like when we be on the road, we walk by like a crumble or what's the other one that's not insomnia. crumble? Insomnia. Mm-hmm. Tom be Every fighting time. demons. I'm Every fighting time. demons. Every time. Yeah, Disneyland smells. They have oh that chocolate chip cookie God. smell too. Cookies are my. Cookies are good. One of my many weaknesses in life. All right, my final one is pumpkin pie. I knew pumpkin pie. Was pumpkin pie is gonna be on there. I'm not living. You my sure life. it's time for one for you? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I'm gonna tell you what. No whipped cream. Oh. Huh. It's my my whole October through the end of the year. Mm-hmm. If I couldn't have pumpkin pie, I would be delirious. Yeah. Because the rest of my desserts are year-round desserts. Mm-hmm. I'm not eating pumpkin pie until October 1st. Yeah. But it's part of the changing of the seasons. It's like eggnog, mm-hmm. Christmas time. Like, outside of that season, it's weird. Yeah. But in the season, I like it. It's not too sweet. Pumpkin pie is a good time. I, my thing about the blacks, most of them <laughs> haven't even had it. Yeah. If you're being honest, sweet potato pie and pumpkin pie are not that far off. No. Sweet potato I thought pie they is, were the same thing growing up. There, it's, sweet you. potato pie is usually just a really sweet, sweet, sweet tasting pumpkin pie. Yeah. They're not that off. He'll be, eh, pack it, yeah. patooey. It's not that. <laughs> patooey. Have you tasted it? No, I'm just yeah. saying. What, <laughs> I hate it when people <laughs> judge stuff with no experience. That's one of my pet peeves. You like, can't... did you watch it? No. Oh, what man. are we talking about? It's not that different. Yeah, it's not. I thought they were the same thing for years. A lot of people did. I was like, wait, th- th- there's a difference. Yeah, yeah. sweet potato pie be having the strings in it. They do I be having like strings in that. there. They do Take be having the strings in Take the time and clean it. If you're gonna make me, my grandma Bella May did it. Well, your grandma left the strings in it. <laughs> yeah. The, now I'm doing this. The strings are gross. It's gross. Yeah. But I do like sweet potato pie. I love sweet potato pie. Shut the hell up. I like it. I like pumpkin pie. I love sweet potato pie. Sweet potato pie is better than pumpkin to me. But I I feel you on the pumpkin. All I ask is if you if you don't like it, that's fine. But most people I talk to, did you taste it? No, I just know. You don't just know. Yeah. You can't just know. Yeah. I just I can just feel it in my spirit. (laughs) You can't though. Watch out, man. Taste both of them and then tell me you hate it. You if you love sweet potato pie, it's hard for me to believe you hate pumpkin pie. Right. If you hate sweet potato pie, I can see you hating. Mm -hmm. But they're not that far off. They're cousins. First cousins. I feel it. All right, your final one, Tone. My final one. I'm going to go with, I'm back on bananas again. <laughs> what else is there? Banana cream pie? Banana cream God pie. God dang it, Tony. <laughs> That's my lick, man. Banana cream? The banana cream pie, That's dog. a 1930s dessert. That's my favorite pie. <laughs> Without the bananas? <laughs> banana Where are you cream even pie. getting that from? You can get it at pie places. I can go to the House of Pies right now in Hollywood. Give me a nice slice of that banana cream pie. A banana with cream pie. on top. A 1925 private investigator. Definitely. Give me a banana Humphrey cream Humphrey Bogart. <laughs> hey, toots. Toots. Let me get a slice of that banana that cream That is a pie. dated dessert. It is. I love it, though. That, that is. Because I was going to put apple cobbler in here, but I was like, but banana cream pie is the one I be. Really? Yeah. You man. go to House of Pie and they have all so the I used pie. to go to Baker Square back in the day in Chicago. Let me get that banana cream pie. Really? Mm-hmm. Yes. I love bananas, though. And so, you know, I was going to also honorable mention homemade rice pudding. Almost made the cut. Tone, you is. Homemade, though. That's when, a- you, when you get rice pudding anywhere else, you're gambling with bullshit. <laughs> For it's a gamble. <laughs> rice pudding rice usually pudding? takes a fail. But the rice pudding we grew up eating, the, the homemade recipe... It'll give you diabetes instantly, but it's delicious. <laughs> I think my my I got two probably honorable mentions, and this is my your version of bana- uh, banana pudding. I like lemon meringue pie. That's Take the meringue out. My my oldest brother, that's his favorite pie. I hate meringue. Yeah, but the lemon. Yeah, the lemon actually, is fire. The meringue is silly. This. It, like a sliver of meringue, mm-hmm. the whole the big this thick much, meringue. That meringue be this thick. Get it out, but like a little. Cl- low cloud yeah. cover meringue with the lemon just yeah. to cut the sweet because lemon by itself that is too sweet. Yeah, but the meringue by itself the it texture offsets is, the lemon. It does, but it's way too much. Yeah, lemon so you, meringue is cool. I, it's like Oreo cookies for me. I can only have a couple, and then I'm like, all right, fair. I'm maxed out. Fair, fair. Yeah, uh, apple uh, the crumble 
Apple crumble is good oh too. God, I love man. me a crumble. That crumble. Blueberry crumble, that, apple crumble. That, that, ooh, That'd yeah. be the best part of like it. Like apple pie, I don't know. I'll be letting me look out. But I, the crumble. The, the, the apple pie, the top is more doughy. Yeah, there's something about apple pie. It's I, I America like, doing out. too much over apple pie. Yeah. They be gassing apple pie it's up. American is apple pie. Man. Get that shit out of here, man. <laughs> Hey, apple pie and baseball, give me two the of the wackest things yeah. ever. Give me the apple crumble of the apple yeah, cobbler. apple crumble is an infinitely better dessert than apple pie. I mean, it's, 100%. it runs circles around apple pie, but they ain't got the marketing. Yeah. Apple pie's best thing is it's American. Is they just love that best. little look of the, the lines That's going over. You see the is. apples and the, che- the cherry pie, too. Get the cherry pie up out of here, <laughs> man. Get out of here. Get it out of here. Watch out. All right, man. This episode over with. Yeah.